Hey guys, welcome to Be Built by Broser. Just want to wish everybody Merry Christmas because it's about there. Uh, on today's show, we're going to talk about some forearm training. Uh, I don't think we've ever done forearms on the show, so uh, we're going to do some forearms today. I'll show you a couple of my favorite exercises for the uh, forearm flexors, the forearm extensors, and for the brachioradialis so that you guys can build some bigger forearms. Okay guys, so the first exercise we're showing you today is for the forearm flexors on the top inside of the forearm. He's sitting at the end of a flat bench. He's grasping the bar. I want you to see very closely that he has the thumb on the same side of the bar as he does the rest of the fingers. This helps to engage the forearms a little better. He's going down to a full stretch. He's even actually rolling down and opening up the fingers a little bit at the bottom, which helps to strengthen the fingers as well as gives the forearms a great stretch. And then when he comes to the top, he comes up and he gives a squeeze to the forearms nice and tight at the top. And this will build the forearms right here in this area. Give that one a shot. Okay, here's the second exercise for the forearm flexors. He's doing a standing barbell wrist curl. He's taking a grip about shoulder width apart. Again, his thumb is on the same side of the bar as the fingers. He's rolling all the way down to the bottom for a full stretch. Coming to the top. And he's getting a really good squeeze and this works the inside of the forearms really, really well, the forearm flexors. And also when you do this, I just want to show you real quick, you want to put a little arch in the lower back, which will help to keep the glutes out of the way so the glutes do not get in the way of the bar on the way up. Another great exercise for the forearm flexors. Okay, the next movement now, we're going to start working the forearm extensors which is on the top of the forearm and as you can see you can really see them flexing at the top and separating he's taking about a little bit inside the shoulder width grip on the bar his thumbs again are on the same side of the bar as the fingers which isolates the forearms a little better he's going down to a full stretch just like you do on any other movement coming to the top and giving it a good squeeze do not try to go too heavy with this movement, otherwise you will not get a full range of motion. Great for building the top of the forearms. Okay guys, right now I'm doing a reverse barbell curl. Could also be done with a cable as well. Uh, this works the floor, forearm extensors once again on the top of the forearm. Uh, just does it a little bit differently than uh, the barbell reverse wrist curl. As you can see, my shoulders, my grip is about shoulder width apart. My thumb is on the same side of the bar as my fingers. I'm leaning my torso forward a little bit to help me better, get a better contraction, and I'm keeping my elbows tucked into my body the whole time. And this is how you best isolate the forearms. Okay, so now I'm doing a, a concentrate, concentrated hammer curl, just like concentration curls with a hammer grip. So now we're shifting the emphasis from the biceps, the, the brachialis and the brachioradialis of the forearm. So just tuck your elbow into your leg. You want to squeeze all the way to the top. Get a good squeeze at the top of the movement and really squeeze the forearm hard and make sure that you also come all the way down to the bottom and get a full stretch. This is great for building that muscle in the top of the forearm and getting that really thick look in the forearm, especially for when you're wearing short sleeve shirts, which we do a lot of the times. So give them a shot. Hi, Biggie. Last show before Christmas. <laughs> That's right. Merry Next Christmas. time we talk, I think it'll be 2019, possibly. We'll oh see. Oh gosh, that's unbelievable. Crazy. Uh, so, a question from a, a new person who has asked a question. Uh, Catherine McMath, she wanted to know uh, when doing uh, hip thrusts, which uh, women for do for those glutes. They love it. Uh, yeah, they love that movement. Uh, she wanted to know what's like the best height for the bench to, to, that you should work on. Um, you know what's the best way to do it what's the best range of motion so uh basically i mean i think the best bench to do it on is just a general you know bench that you use for flat dumbbell presses standard yeah standard bench or bench press type thing uh, because basically what you want to be able to do when you're doing hip thrusts and you want to be able to uh drop the hips low enough uh so that you're getting you know somewhat of a stretch uh in the glutes uh and uh, not actually touching the glutes to the floor 
uh, and that would, you know, for most women, that would be on a standard bench. Um, you know, you can, you know, do them on a, a taller or, or a shorter bench depending on your height. But generally, since that's the range of most that we're looking for, it's just to drop the hips down. Uh, and that's, you know, a standard bench usually works for most gals. They usually do it, uh, you know, either with a free weight uh, barbell across their body. Sometimes they just use a dumbbell on their body or a weight plate. Uh, some of the really strong girls go on a Smith machine and they, uh, you know, load it up. I've seen girls do it with a tremendous right. amount of weight. Uh, but just as long as you're getting that full range of motion, uh, you know, I think the standard bench is what will work best for you and help you to build those glutes. So, Very cool. so since this has been, you know, the season for a lot of bugs, <laughs> and when I say bugs, I don't mean insects. I mean stomach bugs flus and all that kind of stuff. A lot of athletes have been getting hit hard with these. I know that I myself got hit with it. You got hit with it. Uh, a lot of my clients have gotten hit with it. And somebody asked me, you know, you know, what's some of the best remedies, what's some of the best natural remedies for, uh, you know, you know, preventative measures for, for having these, you know, things come in. And if you do get a bug, you know, what, what remedy should you take? And uh, I think that, you know, first thing is you uh, want to do is make sure that you're drinking a ton of fluids, uh, especially if you've got an infection fluids help to, um, and my girlfriend constantly reminds me of this all the time, Kim, thank you. Uh, she always tells me to drink, 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 uh, because it helps flush the body of toxins, so that's that's something you want to do. Uh, vitamin C is still, you know, fantastic, uh, up to about three grams per day, will help to prevent uh, um, a lot of um, colds and flu and that type of thing. Uh, vitamin D3 uh, in uh, large amounts uh, can also help to stave off uh, infections. Uh, and also, you know, a supplement that people, a lot of people don't really realize that glutamine uh, is, is fantastic for um, keeping the immune system uh, boosted. And I personally think that's one of the greatest benefits of glutamine. When a lot of people put down glutamine, they're like, oh, glutamine doesn't work. You know, you know, it doesn't release growth hormone, it doesn't do this and that. But I think actually keeping the immune system functioning at the highest level is one of the most important things that we could possibly do um, as bodybuilders because we're constantly making inroads. Uh, into our, you know, immune system by training so hard. Uh, and it has been shown that glutamine does help to optimize the immune system and keep it running strong. So I would recommend for, you know, on a normal daily basis, uh, at least five grams of glutamine uh, morning and evening on an empty stomach. Uh, but if you actually do have a bug, uh, a flu, stomach flu, anything like that, I would bump that up to about 30 grams a day, six, six doses a day of about uh, five grams each. Uh, and that should help to uh, get rid of it a little bit more quickly and strengthen the immune system. So, good question. Awesome. Thanks, B.